Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise in Windows Forms. In this one, we are going to create a Roman numeral converter. We are to create an application that allows the user to enter an integer between 1 and 10 into a text box control. The program should display the Roman numeral version of the number. And if the number is outside the range of 1 through 10, then the program should display an error message. So, uh, I already have the simple form. I have a text box where the user will enter the integer and a button uh, that will trigger the event that will convert the integer to a Roman numeral. And there's a label here that will contain or display the result that will display the Roman numeral. Okay, so let me double click the button and let's start coding. And the first thing I'm going to do is create constants that represent the Roman numerals, uh, 1 through 10. It's going to be a string because uh, those are symbols, those are not actual numbers. So, for example, constant string, and I'll call it Roman 1, uh, equals i, that's the symbol for 1. Constant string Roman 2 is 2 i's. Constant string Roman 3 is um, 3 eyes. And I'm going to do uh, all 10 of them. You don't have to watch me code it. So I'm going to pause the video and be right back. Okay, so I have uh, Roman numerals 1 through 10 with uh, their respective symbols. So now we need to capture the input from the user that enters uh, the integer. 1 through 10 and uh, use a if or maybe case statement that will select the right uh, Roman numeral for it. Now the user is supposed to enter only numbers, integers 1 through 10, so what we can we do is to validate the input. Uh, so first the I'm going to create a variable integer, I'll just call it number, and uh, I'll initialize it to zero, and um, this is going to be the number that the user enters. But we have to make sure that the user indeed entered an integer, and that the integer is between one and ten. So we're going to use integer try parse. So if integer try parse, and we are passing the number. Uh, I'm sorry, we are passing the text from the uh, text box uh, and we're getting out the number. If the if we can parse it as an integer, then we'll get back the number. And if not, then we can display a message uh, that tells the user that the number is not valid. So um, if it is valid, if it passes as an integer, then we have to make sure that it's uh, between uh, 1 and 10. So we do another if statement. If the number is greater than, greater or equal to 1, and the number is less or equal to 10, these are the valid, uh, this is the valid range, then we can perform the uh, conversion uh, to the Roman numerals. Otherwise, we are going to display another error message that the user entered a wrong number. Okay, so at this point we validated the input and we can do the switch statement. So we can do switch and check for the number that the user supplied in the text box. And the first case if the user supplied integer 1, then our output label, which is the LBL Roman numeral text, will equal to the Roman 1. And break. If the case is 2, then the label text will be Roman 2. If the user Type number three, which is the case three, so we are 
our label text uh, equals roman3. And I'm sure you can do all of them by now, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with all of them typed in. Okay, so I have my nine cases and the f last one will be default, which is obviously going to be the number 10. Again, at this point, the input is validated, so our default, if it's not one through nine, then it's number 10. So it's the Roman numeral number 10. Okay, so um, this is the uh, this is the switch case statement, but uh, of course the last default is without the case. My bad. That's better. No one, no red underlining. Okay, so we have our uh, output already there. So now let's do the uh, what if it's uh, an integer but the number is let's say 11 or 12 we only capturing 1 through 10 so we are going to display a message box so we will do message message box dot show and type something like uh, the number must be between 1 and 10 and the title will do invalid input so that's for our, if the user entered a number, but the number is not between 1 and 10. And we have one more else statement, which is when the user didn't even supply actual number, but some character. So we can do another message box that show, and we will do uh, invalid input, please enter a valid number 1 through and uh, again invalid input will be the title of the message box invalid input all right so um, that's our program that should actually work so let's uh, run it and see so I have my form let's do number one and I get one, number two, I get two, three, four, five, six. So these are all working fine. Nine, and let's do 10. But now let's do 11. That's an invalid input, and I get the number must be between one and 10. So what if I do A? It says invalid input, please enter a valid number one through 10. So we validating the input correctly so zero is invalid as well the number must be between one and ten okay so uh, this is the little program it seems to be working correctly i hope you liked it and i will see you in the next video take care